What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Trevi Trev, and I'm back with another video. You know, I was running some errands, and, you know, I wanted to make this quick video because, you know, I'm catching up on the news, I'm catching up on life, and I heard about this Kai Sinat situation. And if you guys don't know who Kai Sinat is, he's basically a Twitch streamer who's a part of AMP. I'm actually a fan of his. I'm actually a, a fan of AMP. You know, Kai's not my favorite person in AMP. You know, I listen more to Duke or agent but you know kai's definitely the most popular out of amp he makes the most money and he's definitely the most lit you know that's just speaking numbers wise and the number of eyes on him but i wanted to talk about that situation because that shit is wild and i actually have a unique kind of opinion because you know i'm a young dude so i kind of understand the perspective of young dudes and i kind of understand the perspective of kai because honestly when you're in the spotlight like that and stuff goes down you know it's not entirely your fault. It's not entirely your fault. And, you know, things could have been planned better and people shouldn't be wilding over free shit. And Kai should have thought this through more. But you got to remember, at the end of the day, he's 21 years old. And, you know, I'm not making an excuse for him or anything like that, but he's 21 years old with hella money. So, you know, he doesn't have it all together. His frontal lobe hasn't developed yet. He's not 25. He's 21. So when things went down, he is expected, oh, people are just going to get lit. He didn't expect people to throw shit. He didn't expect people to jump on cars to start rioting and doing all that stuff. And honestly, I think we should have more empathy for him because, you know, and this is not a cop out because he's not in charge of these kids. Like he's not in charge of these kids. Their parents are. And, you know, I try to think because I remember being a kid. I try to think, remember being a kid and all the dumb shit I've done. And I try to put myself in their shoes. And honestly, I can't relate to those fucking fans that did that dumb shit because, you know, my parents will whoop my ass if I did something like that. And society will have consequences if I do some dumb shit like that. So whatever happens to those people who did that dumb shit, that's on them, not Kai. I don't think Kai should be charged because honestly, it was just a poorly planned event. You know, he wanted to give, he wanted to do something nice for his community and niggas started wilding as usual. And trust me, I can relate because on my break, niggas is wilding too. But, you know, you can't go anywhere in society without young people acting like asses nowadays because, you know, they're not raised by, like, you got to think, they're not, most of them aren't raised by their parents. They're raised by social media, TikTok, and all the dumb shit. And the very few that are raised by regular people are not like that. They're they're not brainwashed like that, and they don't act like that. So it shouldn't be Kai's fault or responsibility that people were wilding out like that. Because, I like I said, I remember being a kid, and I remember having feelings of, like, aggression and things like that. But, you know, I never acted on those feelings because I had proper guidance and, you know, things were promoted like shame was promoted back then. Like if you did some dumb shit like that and got caught, you were shamed publicly. But now you're clouded up. You're clouded up for being an NPC. You're clouded up for being stupid. But, you know, it's not Kai's fault. It's not Kai's fault that things went down like that, because how the hell could you predict that? How the hell could you predict people are going to act like that? Because, hell, I remember from my when I was a teenager, like 18, right, we had like senior skip day and that shit could have turned into a riot because, you know, it's people running through the halls, knocking down shit, throwing garbage cans. And quite frankly, I'm going to be honest with you, I almost pr participated in that fuck shit. But I remember this shit in clarity. When I saw this one guy knock down a garbage can, spill it all over the floor and just cause a public disturbance, like right beside me, I looked, I developed my consciousness and I said, bro, I don't want to do this. This is what drones and idiots and people who are raised by their mothers do. Like, I don't do this. So I stopped in the middle of when people were doing all that, running through the hallways, knocking shit down. I stopped and I went back to class because I'm like, bro, I'm not about to make an ass to myself and get arrested over what? Over over pride, over clout, over some free shit. Free shit don't mean nothing to me, man. Free shit don't mean anything to me because I'm a hardworking man and I know what it takes to get things in life. You know, I can get these things through my hard work. Fuck a free handout because it's like I don't want a handout in life. I want to earn my own things on my, and my own merits and with my own name. So the people who did that, they're just stupid. They're just stupid and they just like free stuff. And that's just this entitled ass generation. And Kai shouldn't be held accountable for the actions of other people. But going forward, I think he should put out a better image because, you know, I watch AMP, I watch their content and they be wilding sometimes, but overall they're pretty positive and I like their content. But Kai, you know, going forward, he's a younger dude. He's going to learn from this. He should just put out a better image to make people not act like that. Because quite frankly, his fans are going to grow up and they're either going to keep acting like that or they're just going to or they're just basically going to grow up and not like mess with him no more because, you know, they've grown out of it. And that's just life. Life is full of seasons. I know he probably has some people in his ear telling him like, yo, like especially like people like Duke who are around my age or 
I'm a little bit younger than Duke. They'll probably tell him to just chill out a little bit. And, you know, the consequences of this situation in New York, he'll probably learn from this. But, you know, it's not entirely his fault. It's more of the society we're, we're promoting because, you know, people, I, don't, I, I, I believe people have a choice. People have a conscience. They could select to do this. It's just a matter of if they want to take accountability. And motherfuckers nowadays don't do that. But, you know, that's just my opinion on the situation because I understand what it's like to be young and I understand what it's like to want to get lit and do all this other stuff. And but I also understand that, that doing that shit could ruin your life and it almost ruined mine, but in a different way. So we should have more empathy for Kai because honestly, he couldn't have expected this. And he's 21. And again, that's not removing him of all accountability because he should put out a better image. And his fan base is kind of a reflection of him. But it's like we should understand, you know, that was out of his control and he wasn't promoting that BS. He was just trying to do a giveaway and then people started wilding and breaking things. And, you know, I just wanted to speak on that situation because as a young dude, I have a, a, a good opinion of this. And a lot of people in the media, there's like, oh, blame this stream or blame this. But I watch his content and, you know, I understand what it's like to be young and I kind of get it. But, you know, like, comment and subscribe and tell me what you guys think, who should be accountable for what, what should we promote in society and things like that. But anyway, I'm out. I got errands to run. I got shit to do because that's what a responsible adult does. That's what a fucking man does. He doesn't go outside and break shit. He earns his own and he does what he has to do. And that's my message for today. Learn and earn your own. And I'm out.